Hello everybody! Hello! Welcome to another stream. Um, so this stream today is going to be about a new freeware route that was uh, available uh, since I think maybe either last night or this morning. And uh, you can download this route on uh, UK Train Sim. The route is called the St. Al Albans Abbey Branch Line. I'm going to run a scenario called um, Replacement Abbey Flyer. Uh, it's a route that comes, <clears throat> it's a scenario that comes with the route itself, but you do require the Armstrong Powerhouse Class 321 to run this scenario properly. As you can see here, there are some other scenarios for this route that come with it here, and it's the you need a London Midna, London Midland uh, Class Three One Nine repaint. Details about this is found on the web page. I'll just actually go to the web page now so you can have a look. Set this up, um, and we'll go to the web page. So here we go. So here I am at the. Uh, the Albans website. This is the uh, web page here for the uh, on UK Train Sim. The actual link. So you, if you've got an account at UK Train Sim, then uh, well, you or a premium account holder, then that's great because you can literally download this route now without any delays. If you don't have an account at uh, UK Train Sim, what you'll find is that you'll be uh, is that it will take longer to download because you'll be putting the download queue uh, and your downloads are a lot slower. Um, you can find out about how to be a member of uh, UK Train Sim. It doesn't really cost too much over a year to be a member and there's lots of files and repaints and all sorts of things that you can download on here. So why don't you go to UK Train Sim and have a look around. You don't have to pay to enter the site but you can have a look around. There's web forums as well. Um, so <clears throat> basically this route covers a 6.5 mile branch line. It goes from St Albans Abbey all the way to Watford Junction. Um, you do need a lot of DLC uh, for this route, and it's listed in the in the uh, information on the screen. And also, you need a lot of um, other freeware assets from the site, so you'll need these as well for the scenery to display properly. And for the scenarios, you will need these reskins or repaints. As always, you will get a README file with this route as well when you download it, so it will give you a list of all the things that you need as well. Um, so, if some of you who are outside of the UK, or maybe some of you inside the UK, are wondering where, where this line actually is, well, we'll have a look now. So, this is obviously uh, Great Britain. United Kingdom. So Watford is actually just outside London so we're scrolling down now zooming into London. Uh, there you go so here's Watford here. Now the main west coast main line goes through Watford Junction on its way from Houston up to places like such as Manchester and Liverpool and Glasgow etc. Um, but at Watford there is a little light branch line that goes off from here and then heads up along towards St Albans. So this is the line that we're travelling down along here. don't know if you can see it very well but I'm following the path. So it ends in St Albans. Now St Albans actually has two railway stations. It has St Albans Abbey which is a very small station which is where we'll be going to in this route. And then there's another station which is called St Albans City. Now those of you that have the Midland Mainline route uh, from St Pancras to Bedford, St Albans is one of the stations that you go through on that. That's a, a larger station with more trains. So that's basically uh, where we are and where we're going. So let's go back now to Train Simulator and let's get the route started so let's go
once again i do have a ticket system here on this stream uh, for every 10 minutes that you watch on twitch um you will get a ticket and you can use this ticket um in future contests and even uh when the viewer count goes up um even for giveaways and competitions I also do have a YouTube channel called CK UK Mail. If you subscribe to that YouTube channel, then you will get an extra seven tickets a week um, by using the uh, from my from my stream. So you'll get an extra seven tickets a week. You can find out information about that by going to the Revlo for the web link, which my Revlo bot posts every five minutes. If you see that link in chat, just click on it. And it will give you information about, uh, should give you a link as well about uh, how to uh, click on the YouTube channel. So here we are in the scenario now. You are providing a replacement for a failed class 319. Wait for the signal, proceed to Watford, reverse point, and then make your way to platform 11. More information in the briefing. So let's have a look at the briefing. So yeah. If you are providing a replacement for a failed class 319, your book departure time from Watford Junction is 5.46. A guard will be joining you at Watford and he will operate the doors. Please select the guard operated doors option. Do not proceed over the level crossing at Watford North unless you have a flashing white signal. Okay, so what I'll do first of all is I'll go over to here um, and we'll do the passenger doors, change that to guard operated. We'll enable visible visual alerts and I'll also disable that. You don't have to, but it's something I just do. So let's just go back now. Um, I won't set up the departure boards or anything else like that yet, but I'm just going to set the lights up. So I need to put the um, let's put the cab lights on first so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, four carriages, don't have to change anything, so I'm going to change the day headlights. Maybe I should actually put it to night, maybe. I'm going to set it to night first because it is still quite dark outside this morning. Uh, what I'm also going to do is go to the back. Make sure the tail lights are on. There you go. We'll go back to the front again. Um, put the reverser in, forward. Okay, so the reverser's on. We've got the green light, so I think we can go. I'll just turn off the DRS. That will be ready to go. I do look very bright on the webcam. It's like daylight here and night time in, this, in the game. It's really strange. Oh, I'm just going to turn the cab light off. There's the cab light. Okay. Cab light on. off. So we're heading south at the moment. So we're heading towards London. I need to go through the station and then we stop and then reverse back into the platform. Have a quick look outside. As you can see, it's dark. I haven't turned the lights on yet inside the train. I'll do that once we've um, once we've parked up at the station and we're ready to pick up the passengers. <clears throat> We're just going through what the junction now. We need to stop 
in this uh, where the where need to stop in here. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll put the reverse, I'll put this on, the DRA, I'll put this into neutral, I'll turn the lights off, and then I'll put the Patel lights on, because uh, we'll be going out to the front. So what I'll do in here now is um, put the lights on, obviously, turn the tail lights off, don't need those now, go at the other end, put the night lights on, we'll go up to here, I need to look at this, uh, we're going to St Albans Abbey, up here, so the code is 00256, enter this in here, 00256, enter. And Albans Abbey, just going to have a quick look outside, make sure everything's set up. Yes, there you go. Next thing I'll do is I'll uh, turn the cab lights on, the uh, lights on inside. Okay, so hopefully now the lights on the train are on. Yep, good. So people can won't be sitting in the dark. Uh, yep, we've got a uh, amber light. That means I can head off. Alright then, so we're now ready, I think, to head back to... Now we're headed, ready to head into uh, Watford Junction. As you can see, the tail lights are on, which is good. Need to check, double check. Uh, we're due to leave at, uh, yeah, we're running a little bit late already, it wasn't good. We never really give you much time in these scenarios to prepare the, the cab, because, I mean, realistically, I mean, I'd have to walk out of the cab and walk down the train. Well, I'd just probably literally walk down the train, to be honest, but... Really would should have had more time really to uh, get prepared. I'm already late, and yeah, I didn't really feel like I wasn't taking my time over anything. So anyway, we're coming into uh, Watford Junction platform eleven. Just stop up here. Okay, so open the doors. Passengers are getting on. Make sure everything else is set up okay. Have mm. lip on. I think everything else is fine. I don't think I've forgotten anything. As far as I know. Right then, so we're ready to go to Watford North. Watford North is the next stop. Yep. Um, I need to work out where's the message. The driver button. Um, okay, there you go. Right, so we've got a 20 mile an hour limit.
Temple Crossing ahead. There's the flashing light, so that means that I'm safe to proceed. Press plunger, obtain my bite, whistle before proceeding. So once we're ready to go, I'll uh, do the uh, horn. Epic disaster, capsize in cinemas on the 10th of November. Oh, interesting. Lakeside Steam Railway. Good morning, Kevin. How are you? Yes, it is, Kevin. It came out um, came out today. Well, I found it today, so it might have come out late last night. Or if you watch the stream, there'll be information about it uh, from the very beginning. Uh, I went through a little bit about the uh, route and where to find it, etc. Uh, so yeah, watch the stream later, and uh, I'll be posting the highlight, and it'll be on YouTube as well. So. The next station is Garston. I'm good, thank you. Hopefully I look a little bit more perky today. I know you said I looked a little tired in my last stream and uh, another use, another person watching my stream yesterday said I looked grumpy. Well, they didn't say I looked grumpy, they just said that I should look happy. And I just said, well, I'm probably, I am happy, but I just probably a little tired. Hope we can stop. is Garston. Another posters. Freedom. Oh, very nice. Posters for fireworks already, just for tomorrow. I feel like this, I feel like this route is very kind of now. In about two months' time, I'll be probably be looking at these posters for the 5th of November and thinking, oh, can't they put some new posters up? But everything at the moment kind of feels kind of like now. It's just the, it's November the 5th coming up. And it's good. Right then, we go. The next station is Bricketwood. Oh, that's good to hear, Kevin. That's good to hear, Kev Reb. So what have you been doing? You've been going to UK Train Sim or something and you've been looking at new things to download? Or is it because um, you've been uh, seeing some of the things I'm streaming and you've purchased them for yourself? You know, maybe you've seen some like Rary, Rary Lines or something like that. I don't know. Maybe you should write to them and put a word in and say that, you know, that some guy was advertising your products on a stream made you purchase no idea Thank you. 
account. There's lots of other people that are streaming that are also doing these things, though. Why well, those doors didn't open? Better get back in the cab. Very naughty. Yeah. Okay, why aren't you going? Well then, that's better. And the next station is called Howard. That's just woke everybody up in the houses at six o'clock in the morning. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> Time to get up. Alarm is here. You couldn't really rely on British Rail, though, would you? could you as an alarm? Because, I mean, if this train was running half an hour late one morning, you'd be half an hour late to get up. Right, out you get, then. Help point. I wonder if there would actually be anyone to help you at six o'clock in the morning, though. Right and off we go. Oh look, there's a class 37. Haha, <laughs> no, not really, but there's a tractor. <laughs> Sorry about that, very bad. Actually, it's a very farming simulator. Farming simulator seems to be very popular at the moment. I think it's because there's a new version that's just came out literally like last week or something, so everyone's streaming it. Transport um, fever seems to be very popular as well for streaming at the moment.
don't know, Park Street is the next station. I'm hoping in Train Sim World that they'll be able to map like the uh, a camera into here so you'll actually be able to see your train pull up so you'll be able to see like this view working as it kind of should do. No, I, I'm not really into um, Farming Simulator, Ken, Kev. Not really my thing. I know a lot of people are into it though, but I don't think it's something I'd probably enjoy really. I mean, it seems like there's a really good um, multiplayer um, element to it, though. Um, I saw where some people were streaming where they were doing uh, something in a field and then the other person was driving alongside them and collecting things as they were, you know, like a combine harvester type thing. But It's like Truck Simulator. I kind of like Euro Truck Simulator too, but I've never really got into it that much. And some people really get into it, but I don't really. Right, so St Albans Abbey is the next station. The end. I don't know if we have to return in this scenario and go back. I'm not sure. Well, that's quite handy if you just want to go here and just tick off a route. Tick the route off on a bucket list. You know that there's literally a uh, Sainsbury's just around the corner where you can pick up some uh, sandwiches and stuff before you head back. Although, to be honest, you probably just want to get straight on the train and stay on the train, to be honest, because it could be a long time before the next one comes. I've actually scrapped the sandwich idea. Here we are at the end, Ben Albans Abbey. the door, see what's going to happen. Um, 
Yeah, I was supposed to have been there at uh, 684. Well, a bit late, so they'll probably fail me being late. But I think three minutes late is quite realistic, to be honest. Oh, I think it is. I mean, this isn't Japanese. This isn't Japanese railways, is it? I mean, if this was Japanese railways, I'd be fired. It's supposed to be on time. See, there you go. It didn't go quite to plan. You may want to have another go.